Hey everyone, welcome back to Alvin's Vehicle. So, today we're going to uh, be reviewing this Beetle 4x4 and also sort of change what car we're going to open this time. So instead of opening the Porsche this time, we're going to open these two instead. We got a parking lot and got a lot more cars to get go together with the track stars halftime show so we'll talk about this one this car is a uh, a retro series volkswagen beetle 4x4 it's not a re-release it's pink also just saying there's a huge engine and it's like the third retooling of the same casting already It's 18 out of 24 of the Re MB Matchbox Retro Series, and it's got huge tires, so it won't fit on this track part. That's sad. Anyways, here is also the grid for the tournament. We got r red and white cars on one side, the other colors on the other side. And there's a missing bracket, and... Beetle's going to be there. Yep, there's some part there. It came off of this huge twin mill. Not referring to that twin mill there, but this is supposed to keep debris off the track, but it's not, it's, let's just say not very reliable. Anyways, this is the brackets going to the uh, race tournament so any we're not going to start it this time but these windowless cars are going down see each other these roofless ones are going to these modern ones and these fast ones and these ones that are way too wide anyways i'll show you a speed test yeah at least it's not as bad as that helicopter you can just try and comment on who you think would win, but if the comment works. Anyways, last time I completed the uh, Chrome, tw Chrome 2022 Retro Series. All of these Retro Series cars have Chrome base. Pretty nice. Last time we opened Ford Capri, I also just noticed that it only has one year. Anyways, about, not about that. Anyways, halftime show now, featuring Chicane and Turbine Time. This week, we're going to see drifting. Chicane's up first. Drifts to here. Let's mark it Turbine Time's to try to drift. I think turbine time might be stuck. He started. And he stopped. He's still inching forward, though. Yep, he stopped. He's around here. Did not beat out Chicane. We'll try the other direction. Chicane cannot make a worse... Okay, let's see turbine time. Ends up, wait, let me, we'll try again. He literally stopped at the top. Anyways, we didn't use these other props, but yeah. Okay, now we're going to do the unboxing. We got this very cool Matchbox Porsche 918 Spider. It's a hard top. And we got this 2016 Toyota Tacoma. I think this is the second color variation. Somehow. It's only the second one. We'll try to pop them out. This one has a bit of damage. No protective covering like the Ford Capri. Let's see. 
we popped it out. And then we'll also pop out that Toyota Tacoma. This one's tall. And the blister. I think Matchbox actually has a unique blister to every model. Because uh, they re-release a lot. It uh, It's actually better for the fans. And they actually uh, save some money. The re-releasing. Because some of these vehicles I won't get. But these are definitely not really releases. Let's see, we got the Tacoma out. Okay, we got these two vehicles. Let's see, Porsche is these gold 10 spokes. That Porsche symbol logo. There's the light, front lights. The bottom Porsche 918, blah, blah, blah. You can see for yourself. It looks very clean, easy to see. It's got metal flake gray. Interior is very well designed. Engine looks pretty cool. In the back, they even wrote Porsche 918 Spider, and it's actually bulging out a bit. It's not just printed on. That's cool. And the Toyota Tacoma. It's got blacked out roofs like the other Tacoma in the that's going to compete. Six spoke off road tires. That big catalytic converter. Looks way meaner. There's BF Goodrich. Tacoma. Someone I know actually said that it meant boyfriend is goodly rich, but that I think that's Gazoo Gaz Racing Colors. I'm not sure, but Tacoma at the back. The other side is not the most interesting thing. Team Toyota Tacoma. But we'll just say that it's pretty fast. Porsche's slow, but... And we can actually take off the tent top. Pretty nice addition there. Turns out the tent top inside is actually empty. Not sure what I was hoping for, though. The bed looks pretty nice. They turned out they have hollow. Sure, no thing is in the windows to get that we're not going to touch the wheel wheels but yeah pretty much this is what we're going to review for this video okay so see you on the next one next one time we're going to open this and review this and have a halftime show see you next time